Hello YouTube, this is Stompy Sharp and Pointy. This is my EDC video. This is the Remora in khaki. It is my everyday carry. I'm disabled so some of the items in the uh, pack is are going to be related to my disability. All right. In the front of the pack, in the front pocket, there are antacids, change purse, and my wallet. Let's see if I can get the wallet out here. Just a black standard. Uh, nylon wallet. I have uh, some uh, allergic reaction uh, problems. Um, I'm allergic to latex and I'm allergic to uh, some antibiotics so I have a card in the wallet that has those medications in it. And that's it, all that's in the uh, front pocket. The main uh, front pocket. I have a leash with the keys on it. Now I've got it set up so that it's got two medic alert tags. One on the main keys, one on my main keys. So uh, if I don't have the pack with me, I have the keys in my pocket. It says uh, C Wallet on the Medic Alert tag. I've got uh, a small Almar uh, Osprey a bottle opener, house key. The leash itself has a second tag. This is in case uh, I don't have my keys on me and I do have the bag with me. It also has a uh, USB drive. The USB drive is for uh, documents, uh, birth certificate, social security number, or so on and so forth. What I've got here is a spray called Calvalon. This is a skin prep. I have an ostomy, so I use this on the skin before I uh, change the pouch. I'm in a wheelchair, so occasionally I will get uh, dirt on my hands from the wheels, uh, and uh, I carry these uh, Germex uh, pads in the sleeve pocket on the inside of this uh, uh, front pocket here. I also have what's called a uh, marathon. Marathon is a wound sealant. It's uh, basically used for hard to heal wounds. Occasionally uh, I'll have uh, ostomy wounds that uh, won't heal. Uh, by regular means, uh, like uh, silver nitrate and the like. Uh, this actually heals it up. Uh, okay, the front burrito pocket, what I call the burrito pocket, I have my phone. It's a Captivate, AT&T Captivate, and it fits perfectly in this uh, sleeve in the top of the pack. Sorry, just dropped something. Um, and uh, that's what I use for uh, communication. Emergency communication, friends, whatever, you know. It's a cell phone. And it fits perfectly in the burrito sleeve, or what I call the burrito sleeve. On the side, I have a bench, yeah, bench made uh, hook. This is for uh, strap cutting. 
uh, such as seat belts. Um, it can be used for uh, your uh, uh, if you're wounded and uh, they need to get into your pants. They can cut your pants off with it as well. I have a telescopic magnetic uh, getter for uh, things like uh, paper clips, keys. If I drop my keys, it's a little hard for me to get to them sometimes, so uh, I use this. And I put it in the pal's webbing on the side here. I have a ballpoint pen. You know, your standard cross or Parker ballpoint pen. On this side, I have a Surefire torch. Uh, CR123s uh, is what it uses. It's basically a, a torch, uh, basically a mini mag on steroids. Stick that in the PALS webbing. I can get that in there. I have right next to it spanner wrench. I'm in a wheelchair so I need the uh, wrench occasionally to tighten up some bolts on the uh, uh, wheelchair. Stick that in the PALS weapon. Like so. Okay. Inside the main compartment I have medical kit. This is in case I'm in a car wreck and uh, need uh, some wound care. I've also added a uh, splint and I've removed the, there's a one inch curl, it's not really curl X, it's actually cling. There's a one inch cling in this uh, 0.7 uh, uh, adventure medical kit that uh, is almost useless so I've uh, removed that and replaced it with a three inch uh, cling that's been uh, shrink wrapped uh, similar to what uh, uh, USN ER doc uses or uh, does with his uh, uh, medical supplies. It also has a waterproof bag on the inside and uh, I have that on the inside. Now, on the very bottom of the bag, I have two items. An adult diaper. The adult diaper can be used for what it's normally used for if you have diarrhea, uh, if you've eaten bad food uh, and you've uh, got di diarrhea, you can use it uh, in that capacity. It can also be used for uh, uh, stopping uh, bad wound bleeding. Okay. This is a chamois, one of the, what was referred to as super chamois. Uh, I use this as a towel. Uh, it can be used also as a blood stopper. Uh, I use this in my ostomy. Basically, if I get a leak, I can change my ostomy uh, in a public restroom. I use that. Okay. Inside the, these velcroed pocket I have a leg drainage bag this can be uh, used if I'm in the car for a long period of time uh, I live in South Missouri and occasionally go to North Missouri and that's upwards of a three to four hour ride uh, in the car and if I can't get to a uh, restroom I can use this in a pinch I have trash bags as well if uh, I need to get rid of some trash. Uh, uh, ostomy supplies, uh, if, basically if I've got a bag that uh, needs to be uh, uh, changed, I can place the old bag in this and uh, toss it. Okay, now to my ostomy supplies themselves. I have some Hollister uh, product here. This is just a, uh, a wafer. This is the uh, section that goes on the skin. 
and this is the pouch. It, they basically attach to each other and you uh, cut a hole to size and uh, place it on the skin. I have that in my EDC. This is in case I develop a leak and uh, need uh, to change the pouch. Uh, as long as there's a public restaurant, uh, public restroom, um, I can uh, change uh, the pouch. All right. Now let's see. On and on, I believe. Yeah, that's basically it in the way of what's inside the pouch, my uh, EDC. And I'm going to put some of this back. And down there. Like that. Down in there. And I'm just going to move this stuff over. And I'm going to get to the back of it. The uh, back of it has the pocket that uh, everybody's familiar with. Uh, if you've uh, seen any uh, Remora uh, videos, or Maxpedition Remora videos. In mine, I have uh, fingerless leather gloves uh, for my wheelchair. I've got, of course, two of them. I have the uh, PALS webbing uh, insert uh, placed on the Velcro uh, hook and loop uh, fasting. Uh, section in this pocket. That's so that I can put extra tools in it, uh, uh, screwdrivers, uh, uh, in this case a pair of scissors, bandage scissors, uh, uh, for you know uh, dealing with wounds and myostomy. And I have a couple of uh, metric uh, Allen wrenches for the wheelchair. The wheelchair occasionally gets let loose parts and I use this to uh, tighten up the uh, parts. Okay, that's basically my EDC. I have a couple of extra items here. I have carried for self-defense uh, a pocket stick. I'm, I'm going to turn this around so you can potentially see it a little bit better. Anyway, this is uh, called a Cheesy Kunbo. It is a pocket stick it has a either a nylon cord or leather cord uh, loop in the middle and you place it uh, your middle finger now well, 10 minutes is up uh, you place your uh, finger uh, in the middle or excuse me your middle finger in the loop and you can do striking techniques and that's basically it that is my EDC this is uh, Stompy, sharp, and pointy. Thank you. Rate, subscribe.